Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my January reading wrap up. Um, so this month I had set myself the goal of reading six books. Now, so six books on my TBR. Um, I might have only read one of them. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, I have read six read eight books um this month so the first book that i read was night world academy term one by lj swallow um so i rated this four stars this was a paranormal no well it was paranormal um like it was a fantasy um with like a subplot of romance but it wasn't like romance but it also kind of was um and there was like a love square triangle potentially how you read it could be a square or a triangle um so i actually enjoyed this more than i expected to um i got this free on stuff your kindle day like fantasy edition um and i was literally just downloading them all i read this on my kindle um just because it was easier and also because it was an ebook um there are more books in the series and i do plan to read them they're not going to be like an official tbr book but i enjoyed it and yeah the next book that i read well the next book that i finished was flawless by Elsie Silver. So this is book one in the Chest Chestnut Springs series. I rated this. Did I rate this five stars? Did I even write a review for this? Probably not. I've got Goodreads up in front of me, by the way. Clearly, I just rated this five stars. Um, yeah, I must have just rated this five stars. I did a reading blog with it in, I believe. Yeah, I think I did. I think there's a reading vlog. Hasn't come out yet, probably. Um, but I think I've read this in a vlog. Um, yeah, I did. I definitely did. Can't remember what it was called, though. But yeah, I rated this five stars. Part of me feels like it's probably like a 4.5 or 4.75. Um, but anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I cannot wait to read the next book in the series i don't know which one it is i've got the first four i'm just waiting for the works to have those story um but i enjoy i partly wasn't expecting to jo enjoy this because cowboy borrow does not seem like my thing at all but it kind of although it was a big point of the plot it also didn't feel like a big point of the plot because obviously this is a romance um but yeah I would highly 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 recommend that you read this um and I can see why people are enjoying this there is there is some spice I would maybe say it's like a three on the spy scale potentially closer to a two like good stuff but it's not like filthy then i finished the last 100 pages of harry potter and the goblet of fire i literally started this back in september um but i'm glad that i finished it i i think i'm going to wait to pick up the next harry potter book just because they're a bit chunky and i kind of want to read books that i've never read before um i rated this three stars because honestly it could be shorter could be so much shorter i think i'd say the editor didn't actually um edit properly because that could have been so much shorter and it was more the first 200 pages just dragged and then we kind of wrap things up really quickly and it's just like yeah it could have been shorter so much shorter but 
However, I will say I do enjoy the Goblet of Fire movie because I think they focus more on the actual tasks rather than all the other stuff. Um, some of the stuff it should have mentioned, like the movie should have had that the book had. You get what I mean? Anyway, next book I read was Magnolia Parks. This is the first book in the Magnolia Parks universe. This follows Magnolia and BJ. Um, they are a couple where they were together for a long while, broke up, and then they've kind of been in the will they, won't they? They've kind of been the romantic, but not romantic. Um, and you'll very much understand that and there's a lot of arguments it's rich people drama um and i enjoyed this i rated this on goodreads yeah i rated this four stars um the will they won't they started to get a bit too annoying towards the end but i still thoroughly enjoyed it i've bought the second book which is daisy hates um i might read that this month i don't know i know that this month the fifth book in the in the Magnolia Parks universe and the th third and final Magnolia and BJ book comes out this month. Um, yeah, and I'm so glad that I've got the original covers. Then, oh, I love how I completely skipped over a book there. In between finishing Flawless and Harry Potter, I listened to the audiobook of I'm Glad My Mum Died by by Jeanette McCurdy um so she played Sam in iCarly Sam and Cat um I this was actually the first memoir that I've ever read obviously I listened to it um and honestly I enjoyed it I'm not going to give it a rating like most people have done i started this at the end of the end of december i think i literally listened to like an hour and a half of it um it's like six and a half hours long um but yeah i'm glad it's good i'm glad to that i've listened to it i listened to it mainly because it's the jeanette herself um anyway moving on the next book that i read was the song of achilles I this was actually the first book that I picked up in 2024 um I rated this three and a half stars I got bored between the halfway mark and the three quarter mark <laughs> I'm literally reading my review here um honestly it just was very much their day-to-day -day lives and it just seemed a little bit pointless However, I loved how poetic this was, um, and especially like the first third to a f the halfway mark. Um, it just was so captivating, it was so beautiful, and it was kind of like the whole falling, like the getting to know each other stage and like developing their friendship. Um, and it was really beautiful to see um I didn't cry um I could have cried um but I think I just got to the point of I wanted to finish the book by this point then the next book that I read was The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood or I forgot to say Song of Achilles is by Madeline Miller um, I rated this three stars. I'm not going to go into detail because it is included in a reading vlog. A reading vlog that will probably come out after this. But yeah, I rated this three stars. Just didn't connect with the characters too much. I enjoyed I don't know. Then the final book that I read in the month of January was Ascendant by Michael R. Miller. This is a fantasy it's to do with a commoner boy 
um, we're following his point of view, like especially to start with, we go into a second point of view a little later on. Um, but we're following him and how he finds out about like how dragon eggs are like chosen and he just kind of takes one and it follows along from there and there's like a battle um and like death and illness and it's really interesting to read um i rated this three stars i definitely want to pick up the second one because i think the second one's probably going to get a little bit more interesting um but yeah i literally read this on kindle like via prime reading um and i came across it because he um like met christopher paulini who is the um author of aragon and that series murtag which is the companion novel to the inheritance cycle um to sleep in a sea of stars fractal noise i think it's called anyway i saw on facebook that they'd met so i looked into who the author was um and that's how i read his book anyway those are all the books that i read in the month of january let me know what books that you read in january what books you plan to read in february all of that good stuff and i will see you guys in my next video bye